Everybody, I said CDs, compact discs, uh, was an example of an acronym. That's initialism. An acronym has to make a new word, like scuba, self-contained, underwater, breathing apparatus, or jackal, jerks attempting comedy killing, absent love. <laughs> Instead of street sweeper, I said a sweet streeper. In my defense, I used to work in high school. I worked at a video store, and we had a section called uh, Sweet Streepers, <laughs> which were just all her best. Africa, choice, heartburn, ironweed. The dingo one. <laughs> Kramer versus Kramer. Which, not to bring the room down. Sal told me there's a leaked draft from the Supreme Court they're overturning. <laughs> Kramer versus Kramer. <laughs> Six to three, the conservatives, it's now, they're now ruling in favor of Kramer. <laughs> and it was precedent, but they just, they don't care. Such a great cast. That movie is great, Kramer vs. Kramer. Meryl Streep, Michael Richards. <laughs> <laughs> He's my boy! Remember that scene? I did, it's a true story, I did work in a video store, Maloney Video, in, uh, in Bedford, New Hampshire. And I was thinking about it today because, again, this is early 90s. I worked there with Mr. Maloney, and sometimes it would just be me. And there was not an adult film section in a Maloney Video. What there was was a big book, like with like a metal book that... Uh, the way you would have like pictures in a photo album, but it was just the flattened out cardboard cases of adult films. And guys would come in and just like, oh, flunk, and like go through it, and then would give Mr. Maloney a number. And sometimes they'd come in and Mr. Maloney would be like in the back throwing out garbage or something, and it would just be me. And I could always clock the guys who were like, oh, no. <laughs> because they definitely wanted to look at the book, but they didn't want to do it while like a 14-year-old kid was there. <laughs> so they just like wander around for a while and then just be like, I guess I'll just get flash dance. <laughs> hey, um, for, I talked about the fact uh, that somebody made, because uh, we talked about Wally uh, being two trees, and somebody made this, and I said, this is so nice because we never uh, get fan art. Uh, somebody said, this isn't fan art, this is just a meme. Also, I missed earlier that Wally in this is holding a cue card that says, Seth sucks. <laughs> uh, and so somebody, though, said it, they felt bad uh, that they had never, uh, we'd never gotten fan art, and uh, look what somebody made for us. There we go. There's all two trees. <laughs> I feel like this is not the kindest fan art for you, Wally. I, uh, I said two tree Wally, and people really uh, strongly online feel like it should be Wally two trees. Right? That's better. Yeah, Wally two trees is better. And then we really do have, uh, we have a crew here of good names. We had Wally two trees. Mikey the Shoe, Tank Top Scollins. <laughs> 15 to 16 Rileys. Ooh, I had a scare this week. So we have a board, a beautiful board, in my office with the guests who are coming up. Each day has a little box, you can picture it. And it has a, because I want to stress, I hope you know, I never want to meet any of you in person. <laughs> and uh, so this is like, we had Sandler on this week, so that's what it looks. So I look at the board, I'm like, oh great, Adam Sandler's on, or I'll look and I'll be like, Oh, um, Kylie Minogue is on, and we had Jensen Ackles on yesterday. <laughs> so I walk in, I'm like, ah! Oh!
We had a joke about uh, someone, a uh, true story, smeared cake on the glass case uh, that uh, the Mona Lisa is behind at the Louvre. Uh, and our punchline was they also did it on uh, the Picasso, but no one could tell. Um, and a bunch of you pointed out there wouldn't be a Picasso hanging in the Louvre because it's not art. Also, I was told I'm pronouncing uh, Louvre wrong. I was surprised. But again, let's take advantage of the fact that my mom is a French teacher. Madame Myers, how would you say it? <laughs> we have subsets of jackals. I think that uh, the biggest mistake you can make is all jackals are the same. Uh, one is the kind that wants to add comedy via their comments, jokels, and every now and then, one of them comes through, and I would like to compliment, you know, we were talking about uh, Werner's Originals, and then we showed the Klaus Kinski candies that were Fitz Carameldos, and someone said, we missed one, and I was like, let's, uh, show me your best, kid, and uh, there you go, Nosferatu's. <laughs> talked about Donna, my dresser extraordinaire. And this one also, I will say, made me laugh. Someone said, you wear button-ups in a sweater. You need a dresser. <laughs> <laughs> they added, do you also have a changing table? <laughs> hey, sometimes it's, sometimes it's fair. Um, Closer look yesterday, I guess, we talked about how I was in a sexy fireman calendar. And of course, we write these and then leave it to graphics to decide. And, uh, you know, I made it very clear they <laughs> me with this. And then someone else said, uh, yeah, even worse, uh, the weeks on calendars start on Sunday, not Monday. So this is a poorly made calendar as well. And, um, and now I'm. Now I'm realizing they did that so I would show it a second time. <laughs> Damn it. So again, I think a lot of you don't believe me. I want to stress it's true. I read all these comments and I've noticed a new thing has started happening where a lot of your comments have one reply and the reply is the same. And it has for its avatar, it has our logo. And it's, it's weirdly, it's bold, and it's very clearly a bot. But it's trying to engage with you by having our logo, and it has, this is what it says on everyone, it's the same every time. And I guess it's trying to trick people into thinking it's me talking to them. Thanks for watching, send a direct message right away. I will love to hear your thoughts on it, and for more enlightenment. It's in my voice. <laughs> I would be so happy. Nothing would make me happier if at least one of you right now is watching this and realizing, oh, it's not him? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we made a joke about dog ears. You know, seven, I had always assumed uh, one human year is seven dog ears. Uh, I guess there was a study in 2019. The, uh, the thinking on this has changed. It is not seven to one. That is, uh, it's a little reductive. It is, this is, I'm not, again, I don't care about this enough to make it up. <laughs> it's, for a medium-sized dog, the, it's 15 years for the first year. This is, again, year two is about nine years, and after that it's five years for every human year. That's, a, that's what they told me. And then and there's a song to help remember, because I guess it's a little more confusing, obviously. 15 years when they are one, the second year is seven. After there, it's five each year until they go to heaven. 15, seven, five, 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 five. <laughs>
Um, it's even slower for small dogs. So smaller dogs, they, would, they age even slower, which means in just a few years, Sandberg will be older than Frisbee. <laughs> Um, we were talking about dogs because we were talking about Air Bud and, and one of you left a comment. I went to high school with one of the volleyball players on Air Bud Spikes Back. Well, we'd love to get you on the show to talk about that. <laughs> Made it. I talked about somebody because someone, one of you thought that the first Air Bud was about football, not basketball, and you corrected me and then... I, well, you know, where I'm my happiest is when I can tell a jackal they were wrong, and I went so far to say, you aired, bud, which is, if you want to ever see that written, it'll be etched on my tombstone. A bunch of you, I'm surprised. Bunchy said I said aired wrong. Like, to make a mistake is not to air, it's er. Erd. According to the Cambridge English Dictionary, and the American rapper Nelly. <laughs> That's the most just for shoemaker joke I've ever done. And I, I called him up, I called up Nelly, and he said, yeah, her we say er. And I said, are you Cher? <laughs> um, We talked about the fact, so uh, Lauren Boebert called out politicians who think AR stand, stands for assault rifle. And we admitted that we had made that mistake before because it stands for Armalite, which is the company that originally uh, made the gun. So we, I, I corrected myself of making that error. And then it, it got picked up in, in some conservative press who acted like I had gotten caught by her. And, and reading it, I, I started to think for the first time, they might not be engaging with the work. <laughs> so I do really want to stress again, I'm so sorry that I got that wrong. Because once you get the name wrong, then you can't, can't talk about anything else. Because <laughs> that's not really, my problem's not the name, it's like the, it would be like if someone's like, the, uh, Earth's gonna get hit by an asteroid. It's like, and it's not an asteroid once it enters the atmosphere. <laughs> Still worried about the asteroid. Um, but I would uh, like to continue this conversation um, with the Congresswoman. So do please stop by the studio anytime. We're located at 1250 Dittmars Boulevard, <laughs> Queens, New York. Um, I got a, a couple weeks ago, uh, we did a shot of whiskey in a closer look. And afterwards, I received a, a bottle of, a, of wild turkey, Long Branch, uh, from our friend uh, Matthew McConaughey. It was like two weeks ago. And he wrote a note that said, saw you take a shot of whiskey on air the other night. Thought you might need a few more. Cheers, best uh, McConaughey. And he sent this bottle. And... Uh, I thought it was a pretty classy thing to do. I mean, obviously, part of it probably was, you know, he saw what we've been doing for Pizza Hut. Um, but, uh, you know, to have a sincere moment, it was very nice because, you know, we did a shot because sometimes you get overwhelmed by the news and you do a shot. Uh, and, and that was very sweet of him. But I would uh, like to use this instead uh, to toast uh, Mr. McConaughey, because in the time since he sent that, uh, some terrible things have happened. And he went out, and he was a good man who did a very hard thing with his comments the other day at the White House. So uh, a toast to Matthew McConaughey and to all the jackals out there. Let's try to stay optimistic. And uh, you will all see me next week, which I think, I think we're coming up on like our, um, our 50th episode, which is a big deal. So um, see you then. <laughs>